probably distracted by the ceremony up there. What ceremony is it? Good question. Well, we'll see once we're there. Doing it, my friends. We're getting there. <sighs> Whew. Yes. How do you feel, Hugo? I feel funny, but good. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. I feel it too. Well, I'm trusting you both. It is almost time. Gather round, please. It's the Count and the Countess. It seems we're right on time. Up we go. you. I say it is. Then it would be honored that you wear it. Keep it for when we see it. Yes. I'll give it back then. Careful with the drop here. We're so still waiting well. for a few latecomers. Oh. Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Latecomers? I'd say that's us. What are we going to do? We'll... Friends and children, today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, 
The child of embers still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the Phoenix. The Phoenix. To his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. So that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. And do what they say. They must recognize us. Yes, come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Embers. Take your place at our sides. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope. And now, two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You. Your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh, the drowning in the absence of light, the uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. It's caused frescoes. The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't know the macula? I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Amicia, the water will put out the torch. I 
think it's part of their ritual, drowning in the absence of light. <sighs> I'm cold. It's over. We'll soon warm up. <coughs> it was horrible. But you did it. I thought I was drowning. Calm down. You're fine now. No, I'm scared. The child is gone. <gasps> Just walk. I'm with you. He's dying in his mother's arms. Evil has won. Centuries are us. Famine, war, and plague descend on us. He dreams of a fire reborn. I'm cold. I'm scared. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me. You did well. The child must rise again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix. The child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> the breeze of life reignite his flame. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. May the breeze of life reignite his flame. They'll see we're gone. Not for now. We all look the same. Kidding. A child's throne. He he lived here. Their child of embers. There's no child of embers. I told you about the order. This place belonged to them. And this child on the frescoes? It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And the rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers that will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. 
That water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like Mother's alchemic drawings. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come, I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Room it is. It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes. And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. It's a lovely horse. It's your size. I'm pretty sure he was your age. Yes. So that was his bed. It's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. Are there prophets in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. Hmm, <laughs> makes sense. Boys. I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. Wow! That's a warrior's room. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh! Aelia! This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me for Hugo. She looked strong. Toys. He was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. This is crazy. I feel like... Like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look! Huh. That bird again. Its shape. 
It's the Order's symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? <laughs> I'll be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... <laughs> no, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. That! Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give me something. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. What were they making in these things? Lord, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Empty. No! What the hell? Hey! Quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. He would. Um, Hugo? I think the little Did you one find needs something? you, Amicia. This yes. table. They put him on it. Wait, I'm coming. An Athenor. <sighs> no. Whatever's been cooked in there is long gone. This place is crazy. Hey. Something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him, too. Hey. I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You... That for done. No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? Alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. Any mention of a cure? No, but they took other notes. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Aelia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. 
I took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel, inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They're coming. We're lucky they didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. Putrid water seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. Spend a full week at sea with my crew. Changes your notion of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe, but your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that alia? And your... And sister? It's going to be all right. Um, can we take these stinky clothes off now? Yes, we should. 